Hey guys, I'm Abhishek from Plugin India. We've recently crossed 150,000 subscribers. All of us at Plugin India own only electric vehicles and create content for the EV community. Thanks to all of you for supporting our channel over the years. Welcome to the new weekly series Electric Car Watch. We will talk about EV plans of major car brands, take a look at their EV vision and go over their technology platforms. We will also discuss the EV models in production and look at what we can expect for India. This month, we've shot episodes focusing on Volkswagen, Toyota and BYD. The episodes will air every Monday. This week's episode is mostly an introduction to this series and some of our thoughts on the global electric car scene. So, let's get started. The first thing I want to talk to you about is the constant F-U-D. Yes, you heard that right. That stands for fear, uncertainty and doubt regarding electric vehicles propagated by ICE car CEOs, the media, ICE car centric magazines and websites and petrol heads. These EV cynics and naysayers don't believe in the EV revolution or have an incentive to keep using pollution vehicles. They think EVs are just a new fad and will go away soon and they want no part of it. For our EV advocacy, which will benefit Indian cities and the Indian economy in the long run, we've received abuse and personal attacks. We don't know who these people are, but they are definitely scared and afraid to change. If you encounter such people or articles, all you need to do is point them to the numbers and trends in the auto market. The Tesla Cybertruck has more than 1.3 million pre-orders. The Rivian truck has 50,000 orders. How many petrol or diesel pickup trucks have such pre-order numbers? The Tesla Model 3 in 2016 got 400,000 pre-orders in just one week. Which ICE sedan has seen so much demand on launch? In India, even though it's not an electric car, the Ola electric scooter got bookings worth Rs. 1,100 crore. Where have we seen such numbers with ICE vehicles? Battery packs from BYD, CATL and Tesla all reported having 1 million kilometers of usable life. Just think about that for a second. The average lifespan for petrol or diesel car is around 200,000 kilometers. If you buy an EV that lasts a million kilometers, this EV will last three times longer than an ICE car. That's right, three times longer. By 2030, you can expect battery packs to last 2 million kilometers. I won't be surprised if they top even that number given how battery tech is advancing. In the coming decade, battery prices will go down whereas the cost of petrol will keep going up. By 2030, most people will choose to buy EVs as it won't make financial sense to buy a pollution car. These are the real facts. When someone says EVs are a passing fad, just share these data with them. Unfortunately, car companies in India like Maruti, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, Renault, Kia and Volkswagen have not yet launched even a single electric car. These companies keep propagating false narratives about EVs. Every week, you listen to a dinosaur in a suit saying there is no demand for EVs in India. Let me ask you something. If there is a four-door EV hatchback launched at 7 to 8 lakhs that goes 200 km per charge, won't most of you opt for it rather than an ICE hatchback that costs 5 to 6 lakhs? These car companies can launch such a car today, but their claim that there is no demand for EVs is just self-serving propaganda. The mainstream media is also playing the same game. Many petrol heads or EV cynics run the EV section of popular news websites. These websites publish a lot of sensational anti-EV articles. All of it definitely feels orchestrated. The big car companies and oil companies are scared and are using every available tactic to slow down the growth of EVs. Consider this article in EV Annex. In this article, a respected auto journalist, Jim Mottavalle, pointed out the huge contrast in anti and pro EV comments. There is an overwhelmingly anti EV tone to comments on ICE vehicle websites like AutoWeek. You find more pro EV comments on EV specific sites where readers rhapsodize about the joys of driving on electricity and criticize the half hearted efforts of legacy automakers. This is a global phenomenon. In India, go to any pollution vehicle media website or YouTube channel, go to Autoka India or Team BHP, you will find haters, Luddites and naysayers in full force spewing anti-EV nonsense. 
Now consider this scenario. Imagine you have a petrol car. This car takes large sums of money to run as well as expensive oil changes and engine maintenance. This car will reduce your lifetime by a few years as you breathe the toxic fumes it emits. The petrol car will also wear out sooner than an electric car. You need to go to a pump to fill in petrol at insane rates which the, which the Indian government cannot control. Compare that now to an EV that you can charge at home while you sleep like a mobile phone. You save so much money by not using oil. Your car lasts longer. You have fewer service station visits and you improve your health by not breathing in cancer causing fumes. And you use affordable made in India electricity. So for us, the choice is easy. An electric car is way more sustainable for all Indians. But these clowns in the pollution vehicle media absolutely do not want to see the societal benefits EVs offer. There is not even a single article in any mainstream media talking about the societal benefits of EVs. So, apart from Tesla, which car makers are taking EVs seriously? Look at Chinese car manufacturers. There are a large number of established Chinese electric car makers. There's BYD, there's SIAC, there's Xpeng, there's NIO, there's Wuling, there's Sherry and more. These are international brands now. They are selling electric cars in Europe, the US and China in large numbers. Chinese auto will play a significant role in the auto industry in the future. Whether you like China or not, and for the record, I do not. That is the reality. I expect BYD to be one of the world's largest EV makers. Among the German giants, Volkswagen and Audi are phasing out combustion vehicles. They have a progressive EV vision and I expect huge things from the Volkswagen group. And don't forget that it took a major controversy like Dieselgate for Volkswagen to course correct. As for the Japanese giants, Toyota, Honda, Nissan, all of these are in denial. Whereas the American giants, Ford and General Motors are floundering. Ford, as you know, has left India. In India, Car makers have no clue. Mahindra got an early start and then dropped the ball hard. Only Tata Motors seem to have any sort of EV vision. Most of these legacy automakers selling ICE cars are clueless and have no idea of the tsunami about to hit them. If they don't offer EVs or develop a plan for EVs, other companies will usurp their market. A BYD or an Ola electric car or someone else will come in and disrupt the market just like Reliance Geo did for mobile telecom back in 2016. That is how disruption works. I believe that even in 2021, when you can pay 12 lakhs for a Tingo EV or 14 lakhs for an Exxon EV, these cars offer more value than an ICE car costing more than 8 lakh rupees. Who in their right mind would want to spend rupees 10 lakhs on an ICE car in that scenario? Five years ago, we had the E2O, E2O Plus and Verito, all with ranges of 100 to 150 km. Today, we have the Nexon and MG ZS EV with 250 to 400 km. In 2026, you will be able to buy a 400 km range car for around 10 lakh. By 2030, in fact, EVs will become even more affordable as battery production scales up. Ultimately, electric cars will win, not only because they are inexpensive to run, not because they are better for the environment, but because they are superior machines compared to the ones that run on dinosaur juice. EVs are more efficient, more convenient, more fun to drive, more practical. EVs are better, full stop. So, the days of pollution cars are numbered, no question about it. And that's it guys. That's it for this week's episode. I'll see you next week when we talk about Volkswagen in our brand new series, Electric Car Focus. Have a great week. Remember to like this video, share it with your friends and subscribe to Plugin India. Thank you and goodbye.